Superman number 11. Superboy and Robin are practically trying to tear each other's heads off. Thanks to trashing Batman's lab at the Batcave in the previous issue, now they're faced with the duty of earning their own capes. As their fathers throw them into several situations that will force them to work together, the first obstacle is Maya, whom the youngest dynamic duo have to fight past in order to earn their badges. Robin distracts her and is able to steal the reward from her backpack, a railroad map and two first-class airplane tickets. He quickly takes off alone. Superboy races after him, but not before he realizes he was tricked. The map simply reads TAG, and not a second later, his bat Goliath pops out of the train, attacking the both of them. They work together, hatching a plan to use Goliath to their advantage. The train runs out of track, and the huge bat flies away with them in his grasps, and right into a tornado. As the two of them fight through each continued obstacle, Superman and Batman trade requests to each other, thinking that the stunts are going too far but each time Damien and John L. are able to work through them. They finally make it back to the Batcave and discover Batman and Superman under attack from a huge synthesized compound made up of Mr. Freeze, Killer Croc, the Joker, and Clayface. Not knowing whether it's real world or a drill, they spring into action, fighting for their father's lives. As they work together, they defeat the huge monster, and Alfred finally gives the boys their capes, declaring them Super Sons. The issue wraps with a Christmas-themed trip back to Hamilton County, Clark and Bruce bring the boys to help cut down a new tree, and just as it looks like everything's okay, the boys start fighting again. Looks like it's back to the old drawing board for the youngest new Teen Titans. This issue was okay, but like so much of this Superman series, it's seriously low on any real action or consequence. It's what I'd think comic books would be like if they were made by the Hallmark Channel or Lifetime. I give it a 6 out of 10, and I'm hoping it picks up a little bit in the future. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. This video is accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as a link to my eBay store by following the links below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.